this is where we really differentiate ourselves in the build process is we use uh, 5052H34 aluminum alloy throughout the entire truck. We use no extrusions, it's all brake form construction. So we take all of these cut pieces and bent pieces, put it into a brake press and create a bent uh, C-channel or hat section. We weld that to the skin of the truck to create one unitized body which provides a stronger yet lighter overall weight vehicle and we have no dissimilar alloys through the entire truck thus preventing corrosion and that's why we're able to offer and extend to you a lifetime structural warranty on the box. We have our roof, flat sheet aluminum for the top, one piece, welded hat sections to the roof to create our bow which was one of the signature pieces of the broad and what gives us our strength and as you can see with the the brawn, that's what we have on the top of the box, it's an arch roof. If you look up at the top and you can focus on the top where you see the free punch holes. Um, in our design process, we want to punch those holes in ahead of time. Um, that way they're in the paint process, they go in, so we're not cutting after the truck's been painted like some of our competition does. In doing so, we do that and we fill the little small square holes with uh, nylon serps, which prevent the stainless steel screws from holding in the light from touching the aluminum and creating corrosion. So it's an part of our anti-corrosion package. Inside the vehicle, this is uh, uh, our interior aluminum cabinetry, rounded interior corners, as you can see, all welded in structure, one piece headliner welded in. Again, that's welded to the structure of the box, and the interior aluminum cabinetry carries a lifetime structural warranty on it as well. You'll see in the doors, anywhere that we're putting a, uh, a load-bearing uh, piece, um, so on this we'll have door grabbers on the outside, that's got a tapping plate. So. Inside the ceiling headliner there will be a tapping plate for the squad bench net. Underneath the floor vehicle will be tapping plates for securement of the cot and a tendon seat. All parts, standard features and abroad. This unit here is going through the washing of the material. You get all the grease off here, we use a chemical wash. And over here in the corner, this is where we use our spray and insulation foam. It's an expandable foam that goes into the cavities of the doors and into the cavities of the vehicle. Uh, underneath roof, sidewall cabinets provide superior thermal and acoustic insulation properties. This is an interior aluminum cabinet truck and it's just been primed and they're getting ready to spray our Zolotone material on here which is our coating for our aluminum cabinetry. Uh, these are shelving units that are going in our outside storage compartments and these are getting ready to be sprayed with Morton, which is a uh, vinyl rubber coating uh, paint process to protect the uh, shelving and all of our outside storage compartments have that in it as well. So that uh, out on the road with the department and it's the winter time and they've got salt and slush and snow that get on the backboard and goes back into the compartment. Uh, this protects it and keeps that moisture uh, pulled up inside that uh, compartment so that it could easily wash out at a later time or dry out as opposed to uh, some of our competition that uses diamond plate uh, and that becomes a corrosive uh, uh, environment then. And the truck comes out of the paint booth, it goes into this uh, station over here and that's our wet sand and buff station. That's where we start to get the gloss finish. During the final stages of the build process, door hinges, flooring, lights, electrical components, and consoles are added to the ambulance. This is our ABS back floor machine behind me. Uh, we start off with uh, flat sheets of uh, ABS, heat them up put it on and then uh, create the vacuum. We do co custom consoles, closeouts. If you look behind me on the wall up to the left, you'll see all these wood molds and those are all molds uh, set up to do ABS vac forming with. We do the vac forming in a number of areas because we're very concerned and pay particular attention in our build process to weight and payload in the vehicle. So anytime that we can put an ABS closeout in or do a console out of ABS, it's saving additional weight, putting more available payload um, in the vehicle for the end user. This is our 
our meganite countertop area. We actually take meganite, create our own uh, countertops with it. And as you can see, we put the rounded corners in it and the lip to create a single piece. We do that all in-house, control cross quality and delivery schedule of the product.